hello everyone and in this video i'm gonna teach you how to edit windows clipboard now for those who don't know what a clipboard is basically when you copy anything with pressing ctrl c or doing this it goes to clipboard and when you paste it it comes from clipboard so for this i have windows.h of course and a stream and conio.h and i'm also using namespace stday and as you can see here i have main method and a gutch so first we will write stuff to clipboard okay for doing that we need to create a variable no 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 we don't need to create a variable we need to open clipboard and then empty it and then we can put our constant char in it okay so type open clipboard and type zero in it then we need to empty it once we open it type empty clipboard and then press enter and now we need to make a string or a constant char variable that can store what we want to put in clipboard so let's make a constant char variable and just put a star over there now name it anything you want i'm gonna name it op and now set it equal to whatever you want just make sure it's enclosed in double quotes so i'm gonna set it to how are you and as a initialized it to how are you you can also use backslash n if you want new line in it so now we need to store its size in a variable we have to use size underscore t type for this so make it constant size underscore t and you can name it anything i'm gonna name it an ln and set it equal to str len and op plus one now you have to create one more object you can also call it a variable of type h global so name it h or something like that set it equal to global hello this is a function and now it's asking for u flags and you can give g mem underscore movable and now you have to give it the length so just type in ln now we have to use uh, mem copy function so type mem copy and uh, don't press o in there now press global lock and this is a function and put a h over here then press comma and then give it the string so our string name is op i'm gonna give it op and then ln cause our variable name our size variable name is ln then type global unlock and then type h in there now we have to set clipboard data and uh, for that we can do is type set clipboard and data in front of it and now it will ask for u format so type cf underscore text and press comma and give it h which is h global variable and now close the clipboard and now this will edit the clipboard and set it to how are you and for the proof i will copy this part over here copy and as you can see if i paste it it pastes i'm not using Control v and all that for at least now and now i'm gonna compile it and run it and now if i press something it will exit but the clipboard will still stay now if i paste anything it is gonna be how are you now to read clipboard data i'm just gonna make the console window update every iteration of for loop so we will get updating clip means if you copy anything new it will just remove old thing and enter the new clip which we have copied in the console window so for that we again need to open the clipboard and this time we don't have to empty it and also we need to close the clipboard so you can copy that and paste that and remember i'm doing it after a get ch so i have to press one time now create a handle and you can name it anything i will name it in equals get clipboard data and here you have to type cf underscore text this can vary according to what you copy 
there are multiple formats what you can copy so if you control click it you will be forwarded to winuser.h and as you can see you can copy bitmap tiff it's a image format then oem text then view then drift then you can also you can copy this many things and this too but uh, you can also copy unicode text so that varies according to what's in clipboard and for this video i'm just gonna show text so i'm gonna use text here and now we need to see out it and press C H A R char in parenthesis and then type in and then new line but now as you can see there is no for loop so i'm gonna create it int i equals zero oh wait this will work till the end of program so we can use while loop while one means while true and now i'm gonna move this stuff in that while loop now the stuff is inside the while loop i am giving an indent over there now every time i go through loop i just clear the screen so you can type system cls in there this will clear the console and you can save it and then you can compile and run it now in our clipboard it executed this so in our clipboard there is how are you written and if i press anything it says how are you but if i copy something like this it changes to that if i copy something like this it changes to that and if i copy whole thing oh i pasted it sorry let me show you if i copy this right now you can see that it changes it is giving the indent so now hopefully guys you have enjoyed and um, you can use this for pranks and all or just for fun and messing around and that's it for this video and uh, if you like the video make sure you hit that like button and also consider subscribing and if you want to continue watching then make sure you click the video that's showing up on the screen and bye